The necessity of virtual learning has brought the world of academics into our homes, but not the social part of school. That can increase feelings of loneliness, especially after all these months of social distancing. Educational consultant Samia Masood says it's important for parents to regularly check in on their children's emotional health and understand that not every day is going to be a good day. So that component, realizing it, taking note of it, and speaking on it with your child, it really makes for, it, it normalizes how that reality is for all of us right now. Rather than it sort of, sort of being under the brim and no one's really speaking on it, um, it helps them think, okay, this is okay, this is normal, what can we do now? A few of my colleagues and I, we were talking about how in the classroom setting, we would normally have had maybe pen pals you can have pen pals across the classrooms, you can have pen pals across um, different schools. Same kind of aspect would apply here. Um, the friends that they are meeting with on Zoom, the students that they're working with on Zoom, you can do the pen pal, you can do the email format. Um, having that sort of understanding that these are going to be check-in points once a week, once a month, really helps um, bring that loneliness and that fatigue back down. Masood also says it's easy to get into a routine and forget to add in social time. She says make sure you plan out how your children will connect with their family and their friends.